what's up folks welcome back to the channel remember to please like and subscribe the channel folks for free absolutely for free that way i can keep bringing you content all right with your feedback today we're going to be talking about fixing your armature all right um whether you play trumpet any brass instrument um it's going to be focused mainly on brass instruments but folks you want to fix your armature now fix your armature problems now folks i'm going to give you some tips on how you could change your armature just a couple things you could do um that i actually went through all right i have talked to a lot of trumpet players over the years um you name it top trumpet players to even just beginning trumpet players all right we all go through some sort of armature issues at some point some of you have asked me is it too late to change and the answer is no here's a tip okay that you could uh, do to change your armature all right is basically you're going to be changing your armature while you're still playing on your old armature okay let me say that again you're going to be playing on your old armature okay meaning playing if you're a college student Okay, if you're in high school um, and you need to be playing in groups and ensembles and things like that for lessons, obviously you're going to be talking to your 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 uh, your private instructor if you're in college, or if you're in high school, you're going to be talking to your band director. Okay, or private teacher if you have a private teacher. Okay, um, but they will tell you as well if you don't have a private instructor and you're just taking advice from me. Again, this is just in my opinion and this is just things that i have gone through and what has worked for me okay everybody's going to be a little bit different but i've gotten some of these tips from other great trumpet players too such as melton mustafa i got a chance to study with him great trumpet player great jazz player um so you can still play on your old armature but you're going to be practicing on your new armature with your new armature okay some of you have been asking me in particular about playing on the red on top meaning you're putting your your the mouthpiece on the red part of your lip like this And you're actually pressing the mouthpiece into the meaty fleshy part right there of your lip and remember that's hitting your teeth okay so that's flesh in between of metal and teeth okay again if you're a beginner and you started off like that that's how i started off playing trumpet okay in in uh, late in fifth grade basically you could get a buzz actually there's byron stripling a trumpet player great trumpet player it, it, it looks like he's he plays on the red a little bit okay or most of his amateur looks like he's very on top okay so look up byron stripling okay trumpet player and you see how he plays all right so again i'm telling you this is what has worked for me okay this is what i've even advice i've gotten from master trumpet players such as arturo sandoval okay i sat down with arturo sandoval one day okay he told me these these same things about the armature about position different things i was doing with my with my armature that i'll, I'll get into later we all go through things however if you do play on the red there's going to come to a point where you're going to hit you're going to hit that brick wall okay there's only so far you're going to be able to get there's only so much range you're going to be able to develop there's only so much your tone's going to be able to develop you're going to be able to play and you might be able to play like that all your life like i said it, it all depends but if you're having issues and you're having endurance issues this is one of the things you have to change immediately okay you want to be playing with that lip right inside 
the rim of that mouthpiece. And if you say M and place the mouthpiece, this is the position you want to be. Now, here's what happened to me. I was down here like this. Then I changed up here, but I went very far up and I landed, started getting on the red on the bottom now. Like this, I can't even buzz like that anymore, okay? Which, your top lip is the one that does the buzzing, mostly, while your bottom lip, all right? If you're mostly a player that blows, okay, in that direction. I started playing on the red down here. What started happening? Right when I changed, was changing my armature, I was like, oh, this feels great. Everything felt great. And it took me to another level of playing. However, when I got to college, that changed. Again, I hit that, that brick wall, like I said. So what did I have to do? I knew I had to get that bottom lip and bring it in. Bring it in. Okay, where both lips okay are inside the mouthpiece where the rim is sitting just outside the red part of your lip okay okay just outside the red parts of your upper and bottom lip okay they're stronger there you're going to be able to push this way And do these exercises. Calisthenics. Okay, muscle exercises. Okay, you're going to be able to. more flexibility okay now what are the things that you're gonna practice when you're changing that's that's easy the same things that you practice when you started playing trumpet short starts of notes I have the, a video of that uh, called um, secret warm-up where it's just taps one two three mm, mm. Mm, mm, mm. Okay, and you're just tapping the note, you want to do those short taps. Take off, reset. Take off. The more you take off and reset. Take off. Reset. Take off, reset. Okay. When you grab the horn, you're only going to be doing little taps. Two, three. Two, three. Two. Three. You're gonna breathe on four. Start the note on one. Take off the instrument. Put the trumpet back in. Whether you're playing a brass instrument, it doesn't matter what you're playing. Not French horn though. I know I'm saying brass instruments, and I'll, I'm gonna put that in the description. French horn. Um, don't listen to what I'm saying right now. You you guys have a different type of armature, and actually with a French horn armature. I've seen a lot of French horns. It might be better for them. A lot of them put do put that rim on the red down here, but that's because they're they're the French horn mouthpiece is is different than than the trumpet mouthpiece. It's, it's a lot thinner rims. It's, a, it's more conical shaped. Um. So French horns players, okay, this is not for you. I'm talking more just basically trumpet, and it could work for some trombone too. Uh, but usually trumpet players have have this issue with with the lips okay another thing that you want to practice when you when you're starting to change your armature again I have a warm-up video on this it's just playing soft <laughs> Was 
changing armatures a couple times. <clears throat> I practiced a lot with a Harman mute or some type of mute just to give me a little bit more resistance and to make the chops buzz faster, okay? And I did practice a lot of chromatics and a lot of fast things, you like that that way it just I, I i could just flow i could just let the i could just relax let the let the air flow i don't have to worry about you know any tongue or anything like that no i would just you know i, I did practice a lot of that those things so we're going to get into those things also arbin studies schlossberg chas call charles collins um the saint jacome for the etudes and things like that we're gonna get into those things too but i just started practicing things like that and just things that i already knew <laughs> scales usually up to the ninth <laughs> Just think, just things like that. Whatever you're comfortable with, but I would try to play a lot of fast passages if you can. If you're a beginner, obviously you just have to take it, take it slow. But I would do a lot, of, a lot of chromatics, a lot of chromatics. So, folks, let me know if you like the video or not. Let me know if, what you want me to improve. Let me know if um, just ask, ask any questions. All right, like and subscribe. Don't forget for free. Again, it's Danny Jimenez. All right. Check out my, my, my live streams and my live jams. Let me know if you like those. Let me know what you want to hear. All right, folks. Thank you for watching.